Now, in page number 85, what we're looking at here is agriculture within the Greater Dublin area. Now, agriculture within the Greater Dublin area, we're going to start off and we're going to, I suppose, we want to get this really well done because there's a high possibility we're going to see agriculture, as I said, either in a European region or within an Irish region, okay? It's the best essay to do because you can combine so many of your physical characteristics, okay? Loads of factual information. So, page number 85, agriculture. Agriculture in the Greater Dublin area is a highlight of the words well developed and highly productive. Its success is due to many different physical factors. Now, highlight their physical factors. I also want you to write down slash human factors. So, both physical and human factors. Now, my physical factors really predominantly are here. Human factors are kind of more so over to the far side of the board. Uh, highlight the words favourable natural environment. A favourable natural environment linking up your characteristics, your physical characteristics in the regions in the region means that farming or agriculture is highlight like these two words, mechanised and intensive. Now the word mechanised means that there is a high level of machinery used throughout the region. Now our next two paragraphs really is what we're going to say is a little bit of a cheat because what we're actually doing here is we're talking about these physical characteristics and we're linking up with them how they influence agriculture. The regions highlight deep fertile soils. Now above deep fertile soils, just in case that's what we're focusing on, write down two for yourself. So for example, brown earth soils would be one, your sandy loam soils, or you could have your alluvial soils, which is found on the floodplains of rivers. And highlight mild climate. Now you can say mild climate, moderate is a lovely way to describe it as well. What type of climate do we have? Pop it above it. Cool, temperate, oceanic. Favours the growth of high yielding, highlight the words there, tillage crop. High yielding means fast growing. So if you don't like that phrasing, just switch it out. Such as barley and wheat. Highlight malting barley. Malting barley is used or grown or produced for the brewing and distilling industry. Put beside that, just for yourself for secondary, example Guinness, okay? When we're looking at secondary, that would be our manufacturing sector. Protein rich, highlight protein rich barley, is used as animal feed. The GGA has a drier and more has, is drier and has more sunshine than any other region in the country. This is important to get highlight there for crop growth, linking up for physical characteristics. The average number of days of ground frost is much lower than throughout or that is found in land, due to the moderation influence of the Irish Sea. The GDA receives four hours of sunshine on average per day and the growing season, highlight growing season, highlight 270. The growing season is on average 270 days. This means that crops planted during the spring ripen earlier, okay, than further inland in the Midlands of Ireland. This region produces, highlight 11%, highlight national wheat crop. Highlight 20% and highlight potato crop. So 11% of a national wheat crop and 20% of our national potato crop. Now I'm going to pause for just a moment, okay? Now, what we have here, and I'm going to fill it in on the board, we have looked at really our climate, our soils, our relief, and how they influence the development of the area. Now, just to take two seconds, and you can flick across as far as page number 87 on the top of that page. Maybe take down my structure here, okay? Now, what we have with regards to crops, cereals, tillage crops, whatever we want to refer to them as, we have three types that we've mentioned so far. We have barley, we have wheat, and the most famous of all, potatoes. Now, with regards to barley, there's two types of barley produced throughout the region. The first one we have here is malting barley. And the second one is protein rich. Malting barley, remember brewing and distilling, example Guinness. Protein rich barley is produced for, so the protein rich barley is for your um, animal feed, okay? 
wheat, we produce 11% of the national wheat crop and potatoes approximately 20% of the national potato crop is grown or produced throughout the region. Now we've got a huge amount of information there, but what you'll notice when I pop this up on the board is very little is new because we're taking our physical characteristics that we've learned and we're applying it, okay, to this here. Now moving on from there, we have our next paragraph on page number 85, which is actually going over towards our farm and our farmer and looking at them. So I will get back to our pastoral kind of farming or livestock. Down on the fifth paragraph, agriculture in the GDA is highly productive and commercial. Commercial means it's business orientated, okay, if you want to jot that down above it. Highly productive means that there's quite a lot growing with regards to it. The low-lying relief, again linking my physical characteristics in the GDA, results in highlight large farms of 44 hectares. Now this is in comparison to the national average which is 37, drop that down to the side, national average is 37 and the average of the western region again a little comparison here which is 25 okay and 30 percent of percent of farms within the western region is less than 10 hectares if you would believe it or not. Now this makes it more commercially viable for agriculture, productive and intensive agriculture. Dublin is only highlighted only 1%. Dublin County has only 1%, which is approximately 1,500 farms of the total amount of farms in Ireland. Now, although it's only 1% and 1,500, these farms are much, much bigger, okay? So keep that in mind, it's not the area, it's the number of farms there. And the average income, highlight the word income, of farmers is 40%, highlight 40% higher than the national average. That is a huge amount. Now, why is that into the next paragraph? The GTA has a higher percentage of, highlight younger, younger, more innovative farmers, okay? Now, than the Western region. In the West, we'll find that there's a huge proportion of farmers over the age of 65, okay? So we're gonna see that later on. Farmers tend to be highlighted they're more educated and market orientated. It's more of a business rather than a hobby for them. And take a more scientific approach. Now, I'm going to leave this down for a second. We're going to take a few notes here. With regards to the farm, first thing we're going to write down here is 44 hectares. So the average area or the average size is 44 hectares. Now that is much, much larger, as I said, than the Western region or the national average of 37. Now with regards to the farmer themselves, in general, and I'm just gonna back, go back up here and just write 1% of farms, which is 1,500 farms, just to, if you want to jot that down. With regards to the farmer, their income is higher. Approximately 40%, again, that's an approximation. Now, these farmers, why is it higher? It's generally because they are younger and more innovative. They take a more, how would you say, scientific approach due to the level of education a lot of them would have. Now, moving on from that, our next point that we're going to have a look at is market gardening. Now, market gardening was nearly one I actually kind of forgot when I was writing this down which just shows the importance of writing everything down, your structure at the very, very beginning. Now here, market gardening. Market gardening, pop it on the side, so we're just on the next paragraph down, if you want to put market gardening on the left-hand side there. The flat low-lying relief and sandy loam soils, so flat low-lying relief of North County Dublin, sandy loam soils, free drainage, okay, don't forget that, so free drainage, makes Hollett, North County Dublin, an ideal location for market gardening, okay? Especially between Hollett, Lusk and Rush. More than half of Ireland's greenhouses are located here, okay? And finally, the yields are higher and more profitable. Now, why is North County Dublin an ideal location for this? 
because there's lower levels of ground frost killing crops up as a result of the proximity of the Irish Sea or the moderating influence of the Irish Sea and also you have a long growing season. Now market gardening in North County Dublin has also highlighted if you want to just highlight it on your page has highlighted the importance of migrant workers in the labour force within the GDA because there was a shortage of workers in this area. Now starting off with market gardening, market gardening occurs in North County Dublin between Lusk and Rush. What can we say about market gardening in North County Dublin? Well, it's high yielding. And think about why. And it's more profitable as a result of that. It's an area that contains most of Ireland's greenhouses, okay? And it has highlighted the importance of migrant workers. Now, my last two points here, and I've been dying to display my two diagrams to you, okay? not required in the Leave and Search exam, but sometimes it's good just for a visual aid, is our pastoral farming. So last two points here. We have highlight there, second last paragraph, the Wicklow Mountains. The Wicklow Mountains, as we know, to the south of Dublin, is a barrier to the development of settlement and infrastructure. The Wicklow Mountain raises to over highlight, over highlight 1,000 metres. And these steep slopes and the high altitude, your distance above sea level, is a disadvantage to arable farming. As a result, highlight pastoral sheep farming is carried out in the upland areas of the Dublin and Wicklow Mountains. But unfortunately, it is not very profitable. So here, just for sheep, I'm going to pop it down here. With regards to sheep, we find them within the Wicklow Mountains, so the upland areas of the Wicklow Mountains. Now, if you want to jot down there why this is, it's because sheep actually have really, really good balance. So they're able to balance themselves on these steep slopes. So Wicklow Mountains and sheep. The second one here, what else we can say, is that it's not very profitable. So this type of farming for mutton lamb, and their wool, it isn't actually very profitable. Now a point I just want you to jot in here, you can add it later on to your notes, is actually cows, so cattle. And what we know about cows, they're generally um, grazed within Kildare, County Kildare, and County Meath. Now, what happens is, and just to jot it down even beside you on the notes, a lot of cattle are sent for fattening on the rich, luscious soils, or I should say grass, of County Kildare and County Meath, prior to, be, prior to being sent to the slaughterhouse, okay? So that's just a good point to put in there with regards to cows, okay, or cattle. So fattening. Now, the last point you'll see there is the word urban sprawl. Now, highlight the word urban sprawl, it's your last sentence. Urban sprawl is the uncontrollable spread of urban areas out towards the countryside. And this is one thing which has threatened the agriculture within the GDA as the city moves out and out, out with its, I suppose, with the Dublin city 1.4, 1.9 million people for the GDA.